So this here is a mite uh, under the microscope and today I want to tell you the story of how I accidentally, without knowing it, ate a few hundred of these microscopic mites. Well, <laughs> hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Um, yeah, a little bit of a disgusting little thought, uh, but uh, let me um, tell you the story right from the beginning. Um, those mites uh, are so small that it, they're almost impossible to see, but they're living on those so-called, um, yeah, these are red currant berries, red currant. That's the name of the berries. They taste sour and they're one of my favorite uh, fruits. And uh, I basically planted those uh, bushes a few years ago and now they're ready to be harvested and I've eaten them, right? And uh, I like uh, their taste um, a lot. They're very high also in, in nutrients, I think of vitamin C as well. Uh, but I'm not the only one who likes those uh, berries because under my stereo microscope, I could see that there are those tiny little mites running around uh, those berries. Um, yeah, and uh, essentially um, I didn't know that uh, they're living on them and I just ate the berries without actually washing them and here they are um, so under my stereo microscope um, I could observe them run around in a circle um, yeah, um, on, on, on the berry um, and then I tried to also kind of catch them and to put them under my compound microscope this was uh, quite difficult to do um, how do you actually pick them up right and how do you put them on a microscope slide so I'll uh, explain this uh, later on as well well those mites I've seen that there were several uh, different kinds, uh, I th what I think must have been different kinds because uh, some they had, had different shapes um, as well, of course different sizes, I mean they could have been of different age, um, but I think that uh, in a natural environment uh, here what we uh, should not be surprised uh, to find different species of them also living uh, on those berries. The berries themselves, uh, they um, essentially seem to be pretty unharmed uh, by those mites. Uh, uh, I've already made some videos about aphids uh, some uh, some time ago and those aphids actually did bite the leaves um, of the plant and kind of damaged the plant a little bit but I did not see any damage here uh, done by the mites. Over here um, on the edge I think this is basically where several of them started to hide and this is the place where um, yeah essentially uh, there was a little opening in the berry and uh, this is where they started to, to crawl in and I also could see that uh, they seemed to move away a little bit from the microscope light because as soon as I had the light shining from the top they immediately started to run away and uh, yeah, move uh, to the opposite end of the berry um, so it was a little bit difficult to, to actually uh, chase them um, chase them around so uh, essentially this is um, yeah, basically the, the reason of why I've eaten a few hundred of them and what I've done here now is, is I put a, on a, a needle I put a little bit of glue um, and uh, also mounting medium. This is a PVA glue, which I also use as a mounting medium. And I dipped <laughs> the little drop of glue into yeah, yeah, into the, the mite. And this kind of caught the mite. And you can see how it's trying to escape and it's moving the legs around. But of course, uh, the glue kind of holds it in place. Um, and uh, this is how I was able to transfer them um, on a microscope slide. And this is how, how I was able to, to actually make uh, um, images and videos videos um, of them a little bit larger. I'm just going to show them to you now. Yeah, here here we are again. You can see that uh, this one is, is caught uh, um, in this droplet of glue on my microscope slide and still moving around a little bit, uh, but it's already pretty weakened uh, as, as we can see here. Um, I really tried very hard to get a better image uh, here. Unfortunately, this was quite difficult to do because picking up those mites with this tiny needle is not so easy. Um, but here we see also a top view of a different uh, different one. Yeah, and, and that's basically all I wanted to show you. And this kind of explains a little bit of why I've eaten without knowing it a couple of hundred mites. And as a matter of fact, uh, there are estimates that each one of us eats around 400 to 500 grams um, yeah, of um, insects um, every year. Mites are not insects, they belong to the spiders, uh, but I think uh, it doesn't really matter, you get the idea. Um, we eat a lot of these uh, critters every year without actually uh, knowing it because uh, they're simply too small. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah, Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.